Ladies and gentlemen, a shocking new report by Raiders team media shows that Devontae Adams may be on the outs with the Raiders. We know this man has been unhappy the past few weeks despite the fact that the Raiders are on a win streak right now. And this Raiders report shows something chilling that happened after the victory against the New England Patriots. A narrow victory against a really crappy team. Imagine if the Raiders would have lost that game. It almost happened. We're gonna talk about something we can no longer avoid. Will Devontae Adams be in a different uniform this season? We'll be live during the Raiders game this Sunday, Bears versus Raiders, 10 a.m. Pacific, and also live for DC and the Saints, checking that out this Thursday night against the Jags, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Sorry, haters. <laughs> we can never make too much of how people look on the sideline, right? We saw Devontae Adams with the towel over his head. Some fans speculated that he's unhappy with the towel over his head, or maybe he's just sweaty. But it is a fact that he's been critical of the Raiders, saying that they're not developing a good winning culture right now. And you have him here after the Packers game on Monday Night Football with Matt LaFleur. No bad blood between Devontae Adams and Matt LaFleur here. And it made me thinking, have you ever seen Devontae Adams hug and smile Josh McDaniels like that? I'm sorry, I haven't seen it. And send me the link in the comment below if you've seen it. I'm still looking for it. Perhaps Devontae Adams is upset not only because the Raiders have been losing games, fortunately they're at 500 right now, but you got situations like this. Situations where this guy is straight up open. I'm sorry, it is criminal. Whenever Devontae Adams is one-on-one -on -one like that with the defender, it is criminal to not throw him the football. Like I, I think you should literally go to jail for at least six months for not throwing him the football. <laughs> But really, we saw Devontae Adams used as an expensive decoy, according to Sam Monson of PFF, in that Packers game, and we saw it again in the Patriots game. Keep in mind, even though the Raiders won that game against the Packers on Monday Night Football, Devontae Adams made a very important comment where he says, you can win a game and look shitty, and we've done that too many times. Basically saying, the Raiders have looked shitty too many times, and even though they win, it's a shitty win. And this past Patriots game was nothing short of a shitty win. It was a classic toilet bowl between two horrible offenses in the NFL. Isn't that so sad when you have a horrible offense, even though you have Devontae Adams and Josh Jacobs? How does that make freaking sense? But this was a classic toilet bowl, and this was definitely a shitty win for the Raiders, where they only beat the Patriots by two points because of a safety by Max Crosby. The offense didn't even score over 20 points. Defense had to help him out. And Devontae, if you're not too happy with the Raiders' performance right now, well, don't worry. Jimmy G's going to throw you a hospital ball right Right here where you'll get absolutely cracked before you go home. Good night, Devante. And by the way, that led to another interception for the quarterback who was leading the league in interceptions. Well, isn't that? And by the way, despite missing a freaking game when AOC started against the Chargers and despite leaving half the game against the Patriots, Jimmy freaking G still leads the NFL in interceptions with eight. The only people who are right underneath him are Mac Jones and Jalen Hurts. That's an odd combo. And if you're Devontae Adams, you may be a little sick of some of these performances. And even though the guy had a great game against Pittsburgh, remember that game against Pittsburgh where the Raiders narrowly lost that game at home? Devontae Adams had 20 targets, 172 yards, two touchdowns, and he was pissed after the game. He was upset after the game, saying that we need to stop talking about shit and this year we need to be about it. You know, it's week three, but I don't got time to wait around, you know, and it's not a personal thing. I mean, it is a personal thing, but it ain't just about me. But I mean, it's not my mentality to sit here and try to take all season to figure it out. You use these early games like this to establish our identity. We're not doing things the right way to, to establish a winning culture. About it so that when we go out there the next time, it looks different. It's not supposed to just be a week of just talking about shit. We got to go out there and do it. You know, that's, that's, the, that's the theme of this year is doing it, not just talking about it and figuring out what we need to do. We did all that last year. This year we got to be about it. And then after that game, you've seen a drop in targets for Devontae Adams. 45 yards against the Packers, 29 yards against the Patriots, only nine targets in the past two games. Like Aaron Rodgers says, that ain't it. I thought he handled everything really, really well. Four targets, that ain't it. 
<laughs> yeah. I don't know, is his comments leading to a lack of targets? And maybe that's why we got Devontae Adams having some sort of heated activity after this most recent Patriots game. And I thought this meme was hilarious. Josh McDaniels realizing that Devontae Adams is on the roster. Yes, Josh McDaniels, Lil Yachty, same thing, right? And this brings us to this new report that emerged, and this is after the Patriots game. You got Raiders beat talking about this, saying that it would be wise to get Devontae Adams the ball because of this chilling report and this chilling thing that happened after the football game and Raiders beat is invoking Q Myers your boy Q who works for the Raiders media team works for locked on Raiders he's a very reliable source he's always in the building what he said here in his locked on Raiders podcast which you guys should check out man great podcast what he said here was uh, you know shocking to me man he says Devonte was not in a good mood after the game all right like, not only is he commenting that Devontae Adams is not in a good mood, but it's crazy when some of these reporters are even down to say that because sometimes you withhold information because you want to be chill with, say, Devontae Adams, but it seems like it was so obvious that he had to comment on it. We talked to a lot of people, a lot of players in the locker room. Devontae was not one of them. He was gone. And I noticed this after the game. He was not in the post-game presser. I was looking for it. I'm always looking for a Devontae presser. And he always talks after the game. He has no problem doing that. But before we ever got into the locker room, he was already gone. One member of the media said that he left without even showering. How does that guy in the media know how often Devontae Adams showers? <laughs> but which is un Devonte Adams like he actually talks bad about people that don't shower and they get dressed and just take off he was gone so fast that there's a good chance that he maybe didn't even take a shower so not only is Devonte Adams heated after the game but he may have smelled after the game no no but seriously this shows a huge problem here man he clearly wanted to avoid the media he didn't want to talk to the media because probably felt like he was going to say something negative like he said previously like we need to be about it or you could still win a game and look shitty so he must have known that he was going to say something we saw his body language on the sideline obviously unhappy with the lack of targets but it's really odd for him to still be like this after a win i feel like even after the packers game you know he was still positive despite the fact that he didn't have his numbers because they got the victory and he said the raiders need to get used to winning this is the thing that we've seen happen so much with Devonte adams too where something negative happens he does something to show that he's unhappy and then he has to be a professional and walk it back and that's just how it goes and I have a feeling that this is going to be one of those things that he walks back just like after the Steelers game when he said that he doesn't have time to wait around pretty much talking about his career I don't got time to wait around you know later on he ended up walking that back saying oh you know I want to fix it here with the Raiders and Josh McDaniels and I love the Raiders and McDaniels he didn't literally say that but he basically said that so I have a feeling that this is going to be walked back but he's obviously unhappy after the game and did something uncharacteristic that he hasn't done in the past two seasons which is immediately leave and Hondo Carpenter of Sports Illustrated said that he got a text from a very successful NFL QB I wonder if it's Aaron Rodgers who knows if Hondo's that cool to have Aaron Rodgers number maybe but the NFL QB said is Devontae Adams on his way out of there. He's not getting any touches. He's the best in the league. So you got NFL quarterbacks finding it unusual that Devontae Adams is not being utilized. You have clear plays that we've shown you earlier where Devontae Adams is not being utilized one-on-one. -on -one. You saw him get a little upset with Brian Hoyer during the game because of this. And now he's leaving, not talking to the media, even though the Raiders technically, if it's just win baby, wins are all that matters. They're on a two-game win streak. And another reason why I find this odd is because look at Max Crosby after the game. Like these players were stoked as long as they won. Like it's not about the stats. You got a victory. They were happy about this. We have been talking about the fact that Devontae Adams being traded is a possibility. Yes, it would be around like a 20 something dead cap hit next season, but that's still manageable. Some other teams have worse situations than that. It brings me back to Aaron Rodgers. I feel like if Devontae Adams is going to be traded anywhere, it would likely be some somewhere like the New York Jets. And you got Robert Sala here talking about the fact that, uh, you know, Rodgers could be possible by the end of the season. Is Devontae being traded to New York even a possibility still? And you got other fan bases just desperate, hoping that, you know, Devontae Adams is unhappy and leaves the Raiders because it would help them out. You got the, uh, you know, the Ravens here hoping that happens. Obviously, for the Raiders, it would be best to send him to an NFC team like the New Orleans Saints. And I'm not saying this just because Derek Carr is the quarterback there. I just think, you know, it, it, it would make sense, right? <laughs> 
But like I said earlier, man, that was an ugly win against the Patriots. Look, the Saints blew him out. The Cowboys blew him out. I felt like the Raiders maybe shouldn't have blown him out, but at least win by 10 points. And I was actually expecting the Raiders to win by 10 points against the New England Patriots because they also got Mac Jones and Joshua Daniels knows that offense, but it didn't happen. They narrowly won. And if it wasn't for that drop pass at the end of the game where Mac Jones threw a long bomber, the Raiders would have probably lost that game. Like they were so close to losing that game. McDaniels was on the hot seat going into that game. Like things could be totally different from just one play. And I think Devontae Adams knows this. I think he knows that the wins are shitty and you can win a game and still look shitty. And I think just like we've speculated all off season based on his reports and based on things he's said to the media, I think the guy's unhappy. So let me know in the comments below what you think is going to happen here. I think the Raiders need to get a decisive win, a decisive win this week against the Chicago Bears, a team that's only won one game and maybe without Justin Fields. They gotta win by double digits here or else I think there could be some moves made before the trade deadline. My name is Wi-Fi Willie. Peace out and I hope you have a good one.